Hey guys, Fishy here. We are starting our live troll hunt a few minutes late, but we'll be okay. I'm just getting uh, the phone set up so I can see comments and figure out what's going on in chat as it happens. So in the meantime, I wanted to give you a few updates, let you know a couple things that have happened. Um, this week we had a bunch of videos on some profiles that not only were fake, but that were provably fake and that we could actually see where they were fake. And so we could find the tag for those profiles in uh, comments on another photo. So we'll talk about some of those um, and I'll show you a couple that are still up, even though Facebook has been very quick to take some of the things down. Uh, we'll talk about some pages and a group that's been tossed off of Facebook, some admins of one of the groups that have been removed. Uh, we'll talk about some uh, wisdom about scrubbing your profile if you're going to be a good faker. Uh, we'll talk about YouTube playlists as well. And uh, one of the ways that I track some of the things that I'm looking at, we'll zoom through all of that and then we'll get down to looking at foreign run pages. First up, though, I wanted to talk about the Republicans Only page. This is a page that we looked at a what uh, on a live stream that was special last week, and it looked like this. It had this flag background, uh, only a few hundred likes on it. Uh, nothing has been posted since July fifteenth, I don't believe. Uh, that's the latest post, but. Uh, we looked at it, and when we did, we were looking at all of the um, accounts that were friends with the one guy who posted it, and, and looked at those, and of those, wait, there's my spreadsheet I'm looking for, of those accounts that were tied to it, um, all of these are the ones that were tied to it. Of the nine that were reported that were friends with the original guy, um, eight have been removed. Only this account remains, Natasha Williams. Um, still waiting for Facebook to take it down, but all the friends that she had uh, that were involved with that Republicans Only page, gone. So that was pretty satisfying to see. All of those guys removed. And then on this section, we had, oh, here's the guy, David Smith, but we don't have his uh, account up anymore because he's gone. Then there was this Trump lovers page that uh, is also gone, not found, and a conservative party group. We took another video of this from Kosovo. Those, that page and that group are gone. And of the moderators that were moderating the group, there were eight of them, moderating conservative party group, six are gone, removed. So that's always satisfying to see when you see fakers get taken down pretty quickly. Uh, and these guys were all sharing flashnews.club and ussa1news.com, uh, I think. And so nine accounts from the Republicans only page that were gone. Um, eight admins, six of them were removed from these, this grouping. So maybe that put a little bit of a dent in the fakery coming from those areas. They would have to reestablish counts. Um, they'd have to build new pages. And that's kind of what I've been thinking is this is the way that we can sort of tie these pages and these groups and these profiles together. Because as soon as we find these profiles and pages working together, it's more likely when we find one fake that the rest will fall like dominoes if we can keep proving that. And it's harder to, to ramp up an effective page or an effective group than it is to just build a new fake profile. So my goal is not only getting the fake profiles removed, which is what I started with back in the beginning of the year, but now it's trying to build these connections between the pages, the websites, the groups, and the profiles. And that way, help teach Facebook what families or nests of fakers there are out there. And so we'll look at some of those pages I'm talking about uh, as soon as we run through some of these other things. 
Now, we had a couple of videos that hit today for some fake profiles, uh, one of which was Faye Musa. Faye's profile, as of right now, is still active. So even though I showed in the video where the comment was that Faye's profile made, where it tags her as Malik Arshad, Faye's profile is still active. Nancy Hope was another one that we did a video for today. And Nancy is still up, even though Nancy's really um, Farhan Hussein. <coughs> Excuse me, I gotta take a little drink here. Mm, sorry, my throat's dry. I don't know why. Beth, if you put that link in the chat, I will look for that profile um, uh, when we're done and make sure that I can verify what you think about it being a Philippines account. There's some tells that I'm learning to spot, so definitely do that. Evelyn Aiden is an account that I have a video coming out about tomorrow. Now, this morning, I uh, reported all three of these, Faye, Nancy, and Evelyn. I reported them all at the same time before the Faye video came out. The one that got removed is the one that's video isn't even out yet. It's crazy. I don't know how Facebook works. It's insane. But at any rate, that account's gone, Afnan Sadiq. So I found out those uh, and found these all under another name. And so we're still waiting for those two, but it helps to visualize it for people to show that the fakers can be tracked down, some of them, and caught that way. So that happened today. Also, a couple things about scrubbing your profile. Let's look at my friend here, Aaliyah. I did not report Aaliyah yet because I wanted to show this to you and I didn't want Facebook to take it down inadvertently beforehand. Um, Aaliyah is, uh, what are those sticky dots on her bikini? That's just bizarre. But okay, we're gonna flip through her profile. Here's all these great pictures of, of Aaliyah, as it were. Uh, there's some trumpery on here. Um, let's see, some Fox News link. Uh, Dinesh, no. Uh, Daniel Scavino, okay. Um, Trump Tower, here's that bathing suit again. And then we're just gonna hit spacebar and scroll down. We see some other things that are here. Um, more pictures of more women, uh, some of which may match that profile picture, some may not. This is celebrity in Brazil, if I'm not mistaken, um, that some of these pictures are, Brazilian celebrity. And you can see as these names go by who might be commenting, uh, it's not anybody from the United States. Uh, oh, wait, here we have in April, that looks like Arabic or Urdu, I'm not sure which. Wow, um, and here's some more of it. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm betting that's Urdu or something. This, you can't do this if you're gonna be a faker. You have to scrub your profile or somebody is gonna figure it out. I'm just saying, just, just a, a PSA to the fakers. And then let's look at Leah Ezra. Same thing here. We're looking at Leah. Leah's got a cute little baby and a guy in the profile. I don't know if that's a husband, but it says to see what he shares with friends, send him a friend request. I never met a guy named Leah, but I'm not judging. I'm just saying. There's some trumpery and Melania and more Trump pictures. Um, IJR. Let's see, we get down a little bit further and just flip through. I'm just hitting space so that it'll go pretty quickly. There's that cute baby again. Um, let's see some more pictures with Leah and his family, I guess, and his truck and his baby. And Leah gets down to here. What? What is that? What is that? All right. Um, again, if you're going to be a good faker, you can't do this. You have to scrub your Pakistani, um, and that's how I know it's Pakistani. There's your flag. Scrub your Pakistani off your profile if you're going to be a white American male or, you know, female, whatever. Just 
just so you know, those are some fun things to look at. Um, and I keep track of those things so that I could show people um, that it just takes a little bit more effort than normal that you're used to to find some of these figures. Whew. Okay, so another thing to show you. This is my YouTube page. This is where I do videos. I host them there and then I also host them to Facebook so that both platforms have both uh, have the videos no matter what. But YouTube actually is not loading. I don't even know why that is. Um, there we go. So YouTube, the channel's not fancy, but it holds everything and organizes it. I ran across an interesting video clip in my feed the other day, and I wanted to show you how some quick editing can produce a lie that has some real staying power. This is an excerpt of a speech from President Obama when he was in Europe in 2014. Sorry that I'm playing it through my crappy laptop speaker, but bear with me. That's for the international uh, order that we have worked for generations to build. Ordinary men and women are too small-minded to govern their own affairs. The order and progress can only come when individuals surrender their rights to an all-powerful sovereign. But did he really say that? It looks edited, the same way that sketchy news programs edit interviews to make people look mean or stupid. So, of course, I checked it out. Stupid. Anyway, it helps to organize and see if you see something that you're looking for. You don't see it here. Um, check the playlists and uh, this tab here. You should be able to find them. So that's helpful for you. Yeah, I got it. I got it, Sarah. Sorry, I forgot about the uh, Obama thing. It should not. Um, be playing out live based on what I'm doing. That's weird. All right. So anyway, the last thing, I saw this picture of Zane. This is supposed to be Zane that lives in Nevada. And this is a picture that's supposed to be with Zane. And one of the reasons that I recognize these things over and over sometimes is because I, I guess I have a, a, a weird memory that locks on faces or strange parts of a video and this looked to me like Mary Catherine Ham and so I'm seeing really at a, at a brief glance Mary Catherine Ham um, in this picture and I'm like why is somebody faking with Mary Catherine's picture so I don't know who these people are I'm pretty sure that's not Mary Catherine but that's how it triggered me to be able to find this again and I just thought that was interesting I have to keep this open because I think I've seen it somewhere else uh, I'm not sure if Shahab Malik Awan was somebody I looked at or something like that. But uh, yeah, just weird things like, oh, that looks like somebody I know. And then I get those uh, those stuck in my head. <sighs> All right, so let me start by telling you what I've been up to. I started this. This sheet is foreign run pages, and it's what we looked at last week, I think, during the live uh, troll hunt. We looked at these different categories, uh, Trump and Native American pages, and I've added one since then. Celebrities, I've added a couple of those. Check this one out. Fox, uh, Tommy Lahren and Fox News was put up by the same people who were putting up Hannity Fox News, and within a day after I discovered it, it was gone. They had already taken it out. So that was amazing to see. So I, I left it up there though because I like to see that remarks line through there. Americana pages. I have a bunch of those. Uh, and I have the names again of the profiles that are sharing these. And whenever they've been removed, I mark that out here too so I can see maybe what Facebook is paying attention to more than otherwise. Um, so here we have police and military, all these sort of pages, police officers, and etc. Animal pages, and again, all the accounts that are keeping those, uh, uh, keeping the content spammed into groups. And I wanted to track that because I looked at what the page was. So in this case, at the top, we have America for Trump, and Tafik Barisha is the one who's been pushing that along with Blorona Hassani and Liberta Sinani. Those three accounts all have Albanian comments on photos that they've commented in. And some of them have check-ins in Kosovo or Macedonia or something like that. So I can look at these three accounts and I can see these three profiles sharing from 
sharing this content into groups, but then also when you dig deeper into their profiles, they're commenting normally in Albanian on their stuff. So that tells me that I know I can track that page to those people most likely. Somebody's either paying these profiles in that area or these profiles are the ones who are creating these pages. So I've been doing that for all of these. I found Kosovo pages, I found uh, Romanians dealing with some of them, some from India and Pakistan, but a good number of these, most of them are Kosovo, um, most of them are uh, in, you know, with profiles that speak in Albanian or comment in Albanian. So I started, oh no, I started another page here that was suspect sites and profiles. What I did instead of tying pages, this is the first round where I just went and looked for these pages. The second round, I looked for this uh, web pages, websites. So I got the website ad uh, address and I would write down what they were and then who was spreading them and what their profile link was and where they were coming from. So we're gonna take a look. Here's Daily Politics USA. We're just gonna slip into that and show what one of those looks like. DailyPoliticsUSA.blogspot.com. This is not a legit news site of any sort. In no way could you say it was. But this is the front page. It's about the prince. Uh, Prince Charles delivers a warning to every Republican that supports the president. A bit of fakery going around about that. Um, that's a really popular post. Well, where does it come from? If I look at Daily Politics USA, I can see in those groups being shared by all of these names. I found every one of these names in the past few days sharing a post out of there. And wouldn't you know, every one of those names comes from the Philippines. Every one of them posting in their profiles that they come from the Philippines or they're speaking in the language. So I can track everybody on this site, Daily Politics USA, and I can look at it and know that it's coming out of the Philippines. And I wanna show how that works so that you can see. We're gonna go into the group that I find a good portion of them in, and it's United Americans elected Donald Trump. And it's a public group. I'm gonna show you stuff that, that you could see if you went there. This is nothing private, nothing that's uh, uh, in a closed group or secret group, it's a public group. Here's Maurice Rosales from makeamericagreatforever.blogspot.com. Now, we'll go to my spreadsheet and Make America Great is down here. Make America Great Forever. Maurice Rosales right there and from the Philippines. I can tell if I look at Maurice's profile and just click it open, here's Maurice. The intro for Maurice says, just that he joined and there's a picture, all right? But if I'm looking at the language here, I'm seeing this is not English. And I'll just keep rolling down a little bit here, see what else we can find. I don't know why this page is taking a while to load, um, but you can see it's asking you, do you wanna see translation of these things? And some of it doesn't need translation like, my boy. Um, let's see. <laughs> oh, I had, I had a lot more language than this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you can see. Um, this is not the profile of someone who is in America or um, concerned about necessarily America, but you can see he's really concerned about Demo democratic politicians, the true disgrace of America. That's the content. So we know that Maurice here is sharing this from the Philippines. This is a Philippine run site and this is a Philippine profile. The next profile, we can go ahead and close that there. Mitz Gabriel, 
what do you think Mitz Gabriel uh, hail? Where do you think Mitz Gabriel hails from? Updated global news blogspot com. I know that only because my page has it down here. I had to try to decipher that. Updated global news, and there's Mitz Gabriel de la Cruz, but not Mitz Gabriel. Huh. But up here, there's a Mitz Gabriel somewhere. I know there is because I've seen it. All right, we're just going to put it in find in here. M I T Z. <sighs> One of three. One. There it is. Mitz Gabriel updated global news. That's right. Okay, it is there. So we've got Mitz in two places Mitz Gabriel de la Cruz and Mitz Gabriel running uh, from updated global news. And again, that's Philippines. Philippine site, Philippine account. So that's two. The first two posts here uh, we've come across are fake from the Philippines. Here's Lucky Ruth. Lucky Ruth seems to be a legitimate uh, account of, from what I've looked and sharing something from Rick, Rick Wells. So we're going to scroll on by that one. That one didn't trigger any uh, uh, fakery senses. Janice Patterson looks like a legitimate account I've run into as well. Sharing Eric Bowling. Nothing new or weird or fake there. Doc Clark is sharing a live video from Lucretia Hughes. That doesn't seem to be anything that's uh, sketchy. Michael Mullen here is sharing something from Eric McDonald. So that's six posts, two of which are Philippine and uh, four of which look normal. Thane Zito. Now this is one I've never seen, but I see this new member flag here. It just says that they're less than two weeks old in the group that they've joined. So, uh, wokesloth.com, never heard of it, but we're going to take a look at it. Not sure what's going to come up, but I'll also open Thane Zito's uh, profile just in case. I'm just looking for real obvious fakery. I'm not sure, excuse me, that this one is, um, but it's it's just a, uh, could be just a blog for somebody on the left. Uh, and trolls do come in and, and do those kind of things. Here's someone from Tijuana, Baja, California, from Santa Ana, California. I don't know that Thane is gonna be really Thane here. Um, but we're, we'll check that out another day. But I just wanted to, to flip through and see if there was anything really, or really that stands out or it looks crazy um, in the profile, you know, uh, different language that might show up. Uh, um, you can tell too, most fakers d don't necessarily comment on their own stuff. If they've seen it, um, uh, if they post it on their wall or something, they're just doing it for, um, what, uh, I guess, effect to make it look like they're real? Don't know. Uh, Zane doesn't seem to be fake, even though he's got the new member flag and that sends a, a flag up for me. He might be a troll who just likes to poke people who like um, Trump. Okay, so here's Manoir Abbas. Manoir, also new, from the I Love America page. Now, I Love America page is one that's back here on this other tab, way down under Americana. I Love America. And Manawara Boss is right here. I don't know where he's from, but almost all of the other profiles selling that particular stuff into those groups is Pakistan, um, Pakistan speaking Hindi, something like that. So he's a fake. That's one of the Pakistani pages or Kosovo pages. Here's... Fazilat Kulsum, I think, from I Love America also, and that one, if we can look up that one, um, Hindi, photo comments and wall posts. So if I went to this one's profile, there should be Hindi on that wall. In fact, we're going to go check that real quick to make sure that my notes are right. Um, we look at these, you'll find that the ones that get taken down are fakes that are say from Kosovo or something like that, or from Albania, um, those get taken down a lot more than Philippine accounts. And the reason for that is, and by the way, here's your weird profile here. The reason for that is, is the Philippine accounts, they don't 
change their name to be like Marsha Smith or anything like that. Um, and there's our different Hindi, uh, Hindi comments, just so you know. Um, the Philippine accounts, they keep their names. They keep their names, they keep their family names. And so when you go back and you look at those, you'll see them maybe do a, 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 a variation on their name. They may spell it backwards or they do something like Mitz Gabriel and Mitz Gabriel de la Cruz. Um, but they will be able to produce identification if asked that they are a valid account. That's why reporting these accounts from the Philippines doesn't usually work. It's only the other ones that choose a different name um, that shows, um, goodness gracious, uh, though, these guys will go on. Let's keep looking through just as we scroll through here. Um, Mary Margaret Giles seems like a, a legitimate account. I haven't found anything uh, hinky about that one. Uh, now, here we have Maria Cleniel Nicole Arubang Bourbon. Uh, and where do you think this one's from? Yeah, I'm going to tell you since it's Daily Political USA site that we've looked at here. Here she is, Maria, down here, Philippines. So <laughs> it's easy to spot. There's another faker. Uh, Mary Hunt. Mary Hunt. Uh, I've seen Mary Hunt on these as well. So we're going to look up where Mary shares from. Uh, let's see. Where does Mary share from? Right there, React 365. Let's see, is that where this comes from? React 365, that's right. And when we look at Mary, we don't know where she comes from. Her profile wasn't really uh, expressive of it, but uh, other, a couple of other accounts that I've reported that did um, share the same content have been removed. So it's possible Mary's gonna get removed pretty quick. We'll have to see. But uh, if Facebook is doing its job in learning, she may go. Sid Aldridge is posting something from Levin, not concerned about that. A YouTube video from Robert uh, Urofsky, I guess, I don't know how to say that, um, not concerned about that. Zahir Abdullahu, though, Zahir Abdullahu is sharing Law Enforcement Lives Matter. And when we go back to our pages and we look at those under Law Enforcement down here, there's Zahir Abdullah, Abdullahu, right there, sharing fakery, and out of where? When we look here, Albanian photo comments, yep, and also shares another page. So I tried to track the other pages that they shared. So uh, we're about half and half on fakery and foreign content. Mohammed Mizrawi, um, Trump been successful as a businessman, but as a president, what do you think? Uh -huh. I'm going to guess if I looked at Muhammad, I would find out where he was, and it is not in the U.S. Let's take a real quick look just to see. Um, from Cairo, Egypt. Uh huh. So that's a new one on me. I haven't seen uh, Cairo or Egypt uh, around, but I'm thinking he's not living here. Uh, Christina Groove has got a, a t-shirt for sale, um, so probably foreign, but not sharing anything uh, ideological, just the shirt. Madison James is super fake. Mustnews.site. Well, what do we know about mustnews.site? Right here, I have several accounts that have been sharing must news, and Madison James is one of them. Madison James' profile is from India, and three of the six accounts that have been sharing must news have come down. So I'm waiting on the other three to see if they'll get deleted, but that's how I know we have another fake here. That one's, again, out of India. Uh, Cedric Jovert Agnes Sapo. Guess where that one is? Make America Great Again Forever, right here. This is for Philippines account. Again, over and over. We're more than half now, I think. Here's Animals Are Best Friends from Shpatim Praniki. Uh, again, go to the pages part and look down at the bottom at animals. Here he is. Albanian photo comments and Kosovo check-ins. This is how much in one group we are seeing from foreign places. 
this is a Sama Briquette Hob. I can't remember. I can't figure out what that is. I've not tracked this page yet. That may be the next one. Roseanne Barr says we're lucky to have Donald Trump as president. I don't know if that is a real quote or not. Haven't looked, but I will now. Uh, here's that Fazilat Kulsum again. Uh, are you okay with a Muslim judge being sworn in with a Quran? Um, are you okay with that? Well, do you have any say over that? Is that anything that's going on now? I don't know, but the people in Kosovo from I Love America really want you to, to interact with that. And it's successful. 42 reactions, 30 comments, 14 shares. This thing is getting around. Manawara Boss again from I Love America. Greg DeGuardia sharing CRTV. Looks like a legit person. I'm going to skip that one. Uh, Daryl Lar Laris is sharing this one from Deb's Deplorable Deb reporting for my basket. That one looks like a legitimate share. And then we have Paulina Gray. Paulina Gray, viral political WN dot site. And of course, if I go to that section of my page tracker and I look, um, here we are, Paulina Gray, Hindi, Hindi comments all up in that profile. Uh, it wouldn't take just a couple of minutes to show and people could figure that out, but nobody does because they don't think that this is, at, you know, at first glance, they don't think, well, that might be an illegitimate account. That might be a foreign or fake account. Maybe India is, you know, the last thing on their mind, which is why I'm doing these videos because I want people to see this. We've gone through more than half of the posts in this group are fake right off the top. Here's news and bulletin press. Um, let's see about that one. Is that one one I've tracked up here? I bet it is. Uh, news and bulletin press and Genesis Cope. So we have all of these and only Genesis Cope is still around. Pakistan is the site for that one. That's where they're out of is Pakistan. And Trey Gowdy, take close note of this. Another thing fakers do when they get around the English barriers, um, they will just copy what's in the preview of a post that they're going to do and stick it up there at the top. That's what they did. Down to the reverse quotation marks. It shows up there. Mm -hmm. Daryl Laris. Now this is a probable legitimate account just posing a question, but look, nobody's interacting with it and it's been 18 hours. That means probably he is a legitimate account because none of the fakers are boosting his content. That's what fakers do typically is they will boost each other's content. Kosar Parveen from I Love America. Again, another faker from overseas. I Love America. When we looked up at here at it, I Love America was from India, Pakistan, that region. And uh, Kosar Parveen, one of the first names up there. And we are well over half of every post that we've come across being fake. Um, this one from Daniel Tiharina, probably legitimate. Haven't looked into it yet, but there's nothing suspicious about it. Um, this one, Aphrodita Emery Abdullah, who, uh, yeah, guess where that one's from? Uh, she was sharing uh, Judge Janine. That's right. So, uh, Judge Janine page is right here, and Albanian photo comments and Kosovo check ins, and also shares law enforcement lives matter. So, this is a family affair. These guys, the Adelahus especially, they have a nice little racket going along in Kosovo and Serbia with these sites. Let's see. Um, Jaron King Martin sharing CRTV. Again, not suspicious. Uh, no profit to be made there. Here's Genesis Coop again. Uh, just a picture uh, from the Sage page. Now, one of the groups has Alex Sage, which I think is the one that the Sage page is from, as a moderator, and a whole bunch of Sage page comment uh, content gets shared there, but uh, I don't know if the Sage page is paying anybody. I don't know another reason why this fake Genesis Coop account would post it, though. 
Uh, Beverly Winter uh, looks like a legit account to me, just sharing other people's stuff. Lavdim Potoku, uh, this one is a Support America, and Support America is down here as well. Support America, Albanian photo comments. So Kosovo is all over this. Uh, they are making bank. William Stone sharing Laura Ingram, not too uh, uh, suspicious there. Sophia Lily James, viral USA truthwire.site. You see how they trip over themselves to make these sound legitimate. Uh, let's see, viral. Is that one I haven't checked yet? Viral USA truthwire.site. Yeah, that's one I'm going to have to add. Um, and then I will make a note of that. In fact, I will uh, open that post by itself so I won't forget. Uh, Cheryl Roberts, new member. Give me a yes if you believe Hillary Clinton should be indicted. And I always want to ask, as though you could do anything about that to make that happen. But political poll, wdc.site. Uh, that's what I've come across. Political poll, wdc.site. And who had shared that one? Uh, Cheryl Roberts. So Cheryl Roberts looks like a new name I need to add here. I'll just slip that one in there real quick. All I do is I insert it and I'll pull uh, pull her profile link. I don't think I've looked at Cheryl Roberts before. That one looks like a new one to me with the cute little kid there. All right, so we copy that one, stick it in there, and we'll copy her link for her profile and also stick it in there. And then normally what I would do is go take it to stock scan, but uh, I don't want to do that in the middle of this broadcast. I just want to continue to, to show what I'm looking at here. Um, here we have Tasik Sultan Shima. That's a new one on me. Dailynewsdallas.site. That's a new site uh, for me. Let's see where Tasik Sultan Chima comes from. This is going to be fun. Uh, okay. To seek Sultan Shima. Do they have any identification? Obvious things on there. From Laya. What is Laya? United Arab Emirates. Okay. So we already know that the Emiratis are involved in this as well. I hadn't seen too much from the Middle East. The closest we got was Pakistan. Now we have Emiratis and Chirons, uh, Cairo Egyptians on there. More fakery. Arnel Manolo from US Trump News Report .blogspot com, And people are interacting with this stuff. Um, uh, Sarah, that domain is perfect. I love it. Um, Alex Baker, a new member giveaway, political poll, wdc.site. There's hardly a legitimate bit of content in this group at all. At all. This is one, Daryl Laris. Daryl Laris is sharing something his own into this group, preferably probably to get some attention on it. Two people liked it. I don't even know if they, they gave him what he came for. William Stone. Uh, this is uh, uh, if he possibly might be sharing his own page. Um, but uh, somebody's already calling it fake news. Okay. Maurice Rosales, we know that one's Filipino. And Beverly Winter again. And Clint Mike Lumaine II, USA Trump News Report .blogspot .com. It is Filipino, I'm certain. Uh, Clint Mike right there, Philippines. Yep. Over and over, Philippines, the Emir Arab Emirates, the Pakistan, uh, Egypt. Emily Lil Lily Daniel, that's two hours ago, brand new account. I don't even know if I have Emily Lily Daniel listed, uh, but viral USA truthwire.site is certainly one of these I've been, oh, nope, that's another one of the new ones that I needed to get. So yeah, this is how I find out about the new fakery. I open up new tabs and uh, just track them when I can. Oh, good. Thanks, Beth. That's great. Um, yeah, just send it to me when we're done. 
Uh, Michael Mullen is sharing something from YouTube. Uh, Donald Wisman is sharing something of his own. Uh, Beverly Winters again. Beverly Winter again. So there's some, some legitimate stuff in here. Um, Dan Catania. Uh, the Daily Economist. That's a, that's a site I've heard of before. Um, Hesenia Fatos. I don't even know. Uh, I posted this one on my wall. America News. America News is one of these pages, too, that I've been tracking. America News right here. And here he is. Albanian photo comments. Kosovo check-in. So Kosovo is all up in your grill, America. Asema Jews is sharing that. That's probably a, hey, uh, I'm just like you. Uh Raniel James Manolo, that's another one with double profiles, USA Trump News Report dot blogspot dot com. Uh, again, another one from the Philippines. Um, what's the other page here? Uh, here he is, Raniel James Seville Manolo. And then we have Raniel James Manolo here. So two places, two accounts. One person operating both of them for the Philippines. Uh, Vesna Kristeva, Kristeva, Trump-support.com. That's a new one for me. So I will put that one aside to add to the list. And Vesna will get a good looking at. Let's see what Vesna is. When they keep their names, they have a better chance of not getting taken down. It's just crazy. Um, let's see here. Oh, Beth, you're going to ruin my response rate if I don't respond to you real quick. Let me click on it and just type at you. See, Facebook requires that I have the last word um, as unfakery when I'm messaging with people or else it dings me. So I'm going to say yay and pass that on. Now you got to see, everybody got to see who that is, but that makes sure that I don't fall afoul of... Uh, Facebook's, uh, oh, I probably wanted to go back. Okay, anyway. Vesna Kristeva. Uh, Manchester United, what is it with these people and their soccer? All right, this is the, the post here. And then we have something that looks like it might be Albanian. Uh-huh. Yeah, not looking like an American at all. Um so just but but manage to keep the name probably uh, the name is probably right it's just pretending to be an american D this is what they do this is how they do um and there's really not a sign here other than this great big american flag in the profile that says i'm american so they probably think they can last without getting taken down um that's a thing that's the thing that they try to do all right, so who else is in here? Zahir Abdullahu, we talked about the Abdullahus uh, from Judge Janine Page. Farmer Jones, I don't know if Farmer Jones is legit, but uh, you know, there's nothing that I'm seeing him push. Kosar Parveen, we've seen this one, Build the Wall. Um, Gabriel Okpikoro, Op I can't even say that. Gabriel is probably a legitimate account. Um, sharing something from Fox, uh, Lavdim uh, uh, Potoku again. We've seen uh, fake uh, fake quotes sometimes, but support America is the page. Let's see. Um, Charles Catalano sharing a YouTube. Roy uh, sharing a picture. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything uh, odd about that one. And then back to another. Uh, Filipina account. Jennifer Asan Bilal Fido, Fox Business Voices. Now maybe she's sharing Fox, um, but I'm telling you that I've seen, if I'm not mistaken, her sharing something else down here. But um, yeah, I'm not going to go digging too deeply for her. But regardless, it's one I would keep an eye on. Uh, and very probably with that many names from the Philippines. Leslie Ponce. Leslie Ponce is a uh, Definite fake, and I'll tell you how I know that if I'm looking here. 
I find Leslie sharing Make America Great Forever and from the Philippines. And the URL for Leslie is backwards. Her name, Leslie Ponce, backwards. Uh, so yeah, definitely not a not a legitimate account and out of Philippines. So just to take the takeaway from all this is how many accounts are from the Philippines in this group, this one group out of three that I monitored heavily, so many Philippine accounts and so many Kosovo and Albanian accounts and people are interacting with this content as though it's legitimate, as though it's real, as though it's something that um, real Americans are talking about. No, they're pushing this content. They're pushing it at Americans. Here's a website, chicagosuntimes.live. That actually sounds like a legitimate site. And when you're scrolling through and you see a breaking news, chicagosuntimes.live, you might think that's a legitimate account, a, a legitimate page. You might just read the headline and interact with the headline. This is what you get when you actually go there. It's uh, an admin, there's no byline, just the dates, um, and then some text here, no pictures, just a bunch of breaking news. And then we have down here this from, uh, what's this, the Dylan Roof? Is that who this is? Um, I don't know, but, but this is, I, I can't tell what that, let's just look at it while we're here. What am I thinking? I don't know who that is. <laughs> Milo Yiannopoulos is a boy, right? No, <laughs> I don't think so. So I'm not sure where that picture comes from, but regardless, um, this is, this is just a bunch of text. There's no links to anything. This can't be a legitimate site, but they're passing it off as Chicago Sun Times dot live. That's not what news sites look like or feel like or act like, but you wouldn't know that if you're just reading by the headline. If you're just going by the headline, then they're pushing that message at you and you're swallowing it. You're believing it. It's so strange. Monica Stone, give me a yes if you believe Melania is by far better and classy first lady than Michelle. Oh. Why does this matter? Why does this matter? Because everybody has pinned their identity to what side they're on and who the representatives of the side they are. Oh my gosh. And and thank you, Sarah. Sarah looked. Chicago Sun Times dot live is two weeks old. Not legitimate at all. Every account associated with that should be taken down immediately. And if Facebook did their homework and checked on this stuff, they would know and they would pull those accounts. A machine could do this. And I wouldn't have to, but here we are. Here we are. Here's more uh, accounts. Uh, another fake from, uh, I'm not sure where Open Info is. Let me see. Uh, uh, Macedonia. Yep, another Macedonian one. And they're making money with all these clicks. And it's amazing. It, I don't know how people keep falling for it, except I do. When you're scrolling through here in a group like this and you see police lives matter, you're probably thinking this is a legitimate thing. You don't know that Hashim Paraku is anybody important at all, but he's from Pristina. He's from Kosovo and he's sharing this stolen from somewhere else because it's got a watermark on it somewhere, but stolen from somewhere else to get you to go to police lives matter and to like that page. And then what? who knows what they're going to do with that page? Feed you content or sell it? I don't know, but they're, they've got plans for this stuff. They're not doing this because it's fun. They're not doing this because they're entertained by it. Someone is footing the bill for these guys to do this. Someone is paying them to post these things into groups where Americans who are interested in talking about Trump, pro and anti, where they post. So it's just pushing. Oh, look, here's a Baron Trump page. Okay, we have to put that one in the checkout file too. That's going to have to be one that we check. In fact, how many people are liking that page? Let's see. Baron, 
Baron's page has. Oh, I hate it when that does. What happens? How many pay? How many people like this? Why doesn't it show me? It doesn't show me how many likes there are for this page. That's suspicious. But yes, you can guarantee that Baron Trump does not have his own page, and so somebody's making money off of Baron Trump. It's so disgusting. Um, the same side again over Obama's plant fake news and it backfires, really. And of course, we always have the least flattering pictures of Obama's. I will tell you that, that the fakers that use the content that moves the right have learned from the left because that's what we used to accuse them of doing, is putting the least flattering photos of conservatives up there. Well, now this is turnabout and this is what they're thinking. Uh, we love Donald Trump family with a period. I bet that's related to some of those other pages that we got taken down. That one's going into the check later pile. <sighs> but I'm telling you, Mir Lukman Ijaz is out of Albania or Pakistan, one or the other. <sighs> this drives me crazy. We are not better consumers than this. And here's why. If you're scrolling through a timeline like this, you're scrolling through a group and you're seeing those links down here under this Charlie's headline, chicagosuntimes.live, that is treated the exact same way pictorially, visually, as a Fox News link, as a CNN link, as a New York Time link, uh, WBAP, if that's a news talk station. This is given the same visual presentation that has the same legitimacy look to it as this Chicago Sun Times live link. Now, there's nothing to tell people other than their own eyes reading and paying attention to these details that there's a difference in credibility between those two. The only thing that's going to point it out is people being better news consumers. And the only thing I know to do is to just go through and show people just how much fakery is in here. Ava Jones is fake and sharing Donald Trump for USA.com links. Again, same look. It looks identical to a legitimate site. And that's what's making people lose their minds. And fakery it may be. Another thing, oh, who doesn't love animals? Who does not love horses? And 36 interactions, six shares, 15 comments. People love to interact with that stuff. They don't care if they're seeing it in a political group or not. They just, they just adore animals. So these guys are very good at getting people to do what they want them to do, to click. Kim Marr, another faker, USA Trump News Report dot blogspot dot com. Anybody who's had any kind of media savvy will know that's a fake site. It doesn't have anything uh, serious to it at all, but people are interacting as though it is true. It is serious. It is important. And I don't know how we make better news consumers at all, but we have to try. And again, the only thing I know to do is to start tracking these things, to tie these accounts to these sites so that when people see cbspolitical.site and they find that online, they're not going to click and go there, but I will have done the work to say, oh, these three accounts, Samantha, David, and Avery, are fake out of Pakistan. So anytime I see CBS Political, I can flag that. Now, Facebook should be able to do this, again, with machines that can do this millions of times faster than I can. I can only do so much, but once I've caught this stuff and shown it to people, then I've put it out in the world and at least they can be better uh, news consumers or they can share it with people that they know. And again, I've talked about this a dozen times. The audience for unfakery is not the audience that needs unfakery. The people who are following, we got 1,500 and some odd people now who are following, it, which I am so grateful for, but we need it to be 15,000 and then 150,000. We need some serious incremental growth that's on speed, 
because we're just not reaching anywhere. We're not making a dent no matter what we do. But 1,500 people that are on unfakery, they're not the ones who need it. They're not the ones who need to know if something is fake or not. They're the ones who are concerned about fakery already, who are suspicious of fakery already, and they're the ones who need to be equipped with tools and videos and things to show to show people where the fakery is that are the people who are following falling for it so folks who are interacting with this comment uh, content in those places the people who are following on fakery need to be the ambassadors whenever they see some fakery they need to look and see if we've got content that matches it or ask me if we have content that matches it that can push back for people that's the only way folks are going to get it to see how many Philippine accounts there are pushing content at them, how many Macedonian and Kosovan accounts are out there pushing content at them, and asking why. How many pages are they using to spread it? How many places? How many topics? We've got to help people get better. That's what we're here for at Unfakery. If you don't think that we're doing it um, efficiently enough, tell us how we can do better. Tell us how we can help. What can we do to help people think better and interact better with content they see online? Because it's only going to get worse unless we push back, unless we teach these platforms how to deal with fakery, unless we show people that it's right to be skeptical of everything. It's not rude, it's proper, and it's smart. So all I have left to tell you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for looking at the videos. If you haven't, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We need you to do it. The subscriptions are lagging, but I need more people to do that. That way you'll get notified about the videos as they come out. You can check and kind of cheat and look at the playlists and see if there's anything new on the playlists. You can look through all of these. Again, if you want to see how many profiles we've unmasked and how many fakers we found out, you have a, a playlist for that now. If you want to see the fake celebrity quotes that we've shown and dealt with, you don't have to search our site and go down our page. You can look on the YouTube channel, Something Fishy TX, and it'll help. You can refer people to this channel especially and help folks see what's out there, what tools are out there. We covered basics like, did a celebrity really say that? Or how easy is it to fake a tweet? Things people need to know and no one else is telling them. We need your help to grow. We need your help to reach more people. We can only reach the folks that we have in connections by one degree, two degrees, three degrees, whatever. But thanks so much for pushing our content, for helping us grow. We need to do a whole bunch more of it. Drag three, five, ten of your friends and send them to Unfakery. Tag us in posts. Send Unfaking stuff our way, stuff that you're concerned about, stuff you see people fall for, stuff you need verified. Let us know. That's what we're here for. We are trying to take this to the next level, but we need your help to do it. Thanks so much for everything you've done, and we appreciate you along for this ride. We will see you next week. Thanks again.